Well, my Percy Pig advent calendar seems to indicate that it's Christmas, so I guess it's Christmas. Who could be at the door on Christmas Day? Gotta go fast! Well, that was fucking weird. Oh look, he left a parcel. The Hello Kitty wrapping paper is a nice touch. To IHE, the only present you'll need this year is inside this box. Okay then. My name is James. Oh Christmas, you're bigged up and prepared for for months. And then you're done, in a matter of hours. And you suddenly have a large collection of turkey you don't know what to do with, and a batch of useless gifts that you're gonna do nothing with but throw in that space by the wardrobe, you know the one I mean. The thing is, can you stop the singing? Can you please stop the singing? God almighty, can you please stop with the fucking Christmas songs? I can't go any longer without talking about those repetitive, inane Christmas songs that are played and repeated so much it makes you physically repulse and scowl every time you hear them. Doing the exact opposite of their intended jolly Christmas cheer. I mean, if you want to be minted for the rest of your life, write a catchy Christmas song and bathe in the riches. But it's kind of like making a fortune off blood diamonds. Well, kinda. Or... Not at all, really, but you get what I mean. You know, as far as commercial holidays go, I reckon Christmas is still probably one of the most genuine. Personally, I'm not really bothered about the whole gift thing. It's just quite a nice time to sit around and... eat. Just eat, and eat, and then eat some more, and then top it all off by eating again. Not to mention the fact that it's actually pretty important to the economy. Something like a quarter of all personal spending takes place over the Christmas holiday season. That's banana. I mean bananas. Now it sounds weird when I say it. I can't call anything bananas ever again. It's kind of funny how the entire fabric of the world staying somewhat financially stable is dependent on people fighting over Elmo toys. I've never really understood the idea of gift etiquette, like how you're supposed to react. I guess no matter what the gift itself is, you have to act pleased. No matter how ridiculous or impractical the gift may be, you have to slap a smile on your face and approach the gift giver with a pre-decided message. Something like, Thank you so much for this, you know, I really needed one of those. Or like, wow, this Eiffel Tower boob shot glass is really tasteful and totally not worthless. Cheers! The worst though is when you have a group of people watching you, anticipating your reaction. It really puts you on a spot. Or it's even worse when you get a gift that's arrived in the post, because you have no choice but to write a thank you letter. Forget the fact that it's the 21st century and the internet's a thing. It's time to crack out the old pen and paper and write the same thank you message six times to save time before going to the post box to send them off. What is this, 1995? That's the same with Christmas cards. There's always something like, have a nice Christmas. You could just say that to me in person, or send it in a free email. I really don't give a shit. But what about when you unexpectedly get a gift from someone you weren't expecting one from? What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to then buy them something in return even though it's too late? Or do you wait and add them to the list for next year? You either need a gift rotor or carefully chosen specific gift giving relationships. For example, before you go out handing out presents willy nilly, you both need to clearly state that gifts are going to be exchanged at very specific points in time. Me and my friend who isn't James have a deal where we have to try to buy the worst possible gift for each other. This year he got me a paint your own gnome wrapped in minion wrapping paper. You may think he's won, but here's what I got him. <laughs> Do you remember the exact moment that someone ruined the fact that Santa isn't real for you? If you don't, sorry, because it was right now in this video. I was innocently sat in primary school and some smart-ass kid was ranting on about it, taking immense pleasure in crushing everyone's hopes and dreams. I refused to believe it, but as the years went on, the more jaded I became. It actually reached a point where I was happy to receive coal in my stocking because it allowed me to start a fire in a weak attempt to warm my dulled, broken heart. I know the idea of Santa is fun for kids and whatnot, but it's quite a cruel trick. When my brother was younger, I used to lie to him about things all the time. I once said that Santa would die if you saw him. Then I got in trouble for being a liar, when all along my parents had been lying and hiding the biggest conspiracy of all time from me. Lying right to my face. As much as I love pretending to be happy about presents, sitting through horrible Christmas music, seeing Shrek 3 for the 60th time, and all the other questionable things that come with Christmas, I have to admit, it's all part of the weird fucked up charm it has. Forget the fact that the man the entire holiday is based around got impaled with large nails through his hands and feet, and left to rot in pain and agony until he eventually died. What's more important is the fat old man who holds various animals and elves hostage to painstakingly make and deliver toys to every child on the planet. Oh, and uh, drink Coca-Cola. 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 
drink Coca Cola, drink Coca Cola, drink Coca Cola, drink Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Coca What? What did you expect to achieve by sending yourself in this comically tiny box? I don't know, mate. Well, I know what to do with you. No! 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 Merry Christmas, everyone! What a year this has been, eh? So what do you think? Are you a fan of Christmas, or are you not, you Grinch? Did I miss anything out that you can think of? Tell me in the comments below! And as always, thanks for watching, all comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye hi ho ho what? You can never do a tango with an Eskimo, no, no, no!